Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie. If you guys ever been on TikTok and you just see a crazy awesome food recipe that you're just too lazy to try, well today I'm gonna be trying some of those food hacks and recipes so you don't have to. It's gonna be a lot of fun. If you guys like what you see, make sure to give the video a big old thumbs up and uh, also, uh, let's just shut up and start already. Ah! Today I'm gonna show y'all how to make cloud bread. You just need to whisk together egg whites, white sugar, and cornstarch until you get really stiff peaks. You can change the color and the flavor just by adding those things. Just in. bake it at 300 degrees for about 25 minutes. I did 26 and it was perfect. I really like how it dissolves like cotton candy. Okay guys, to start off with our mixing bowl. Next we're gonna go ahead and add our three eggs. Oh, crud. Wait! I wasn't supposed to add the yolk. I already messed up the recipe. We'll try this again. I'm gonna be honest here, guys. I I have never gotten egg yolks before. Just the egg yolk. I guess I could try the classic bottle technique, but I don't believe in plastic bottles. So I don't have any laying around my house. I think that did it. Okay. One egg whites only. Successful. Let's see if I can do it again. That's two. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and add our 18 grams of cornstarch. Or if you live in America, three tablespoons. Or nine teaspoons, because I don't have a tablespoon. There we go. And we add our 38 grams of white sugar, or 0.8 cups. I don't know if I have a cup for that. I'll just fill my one cup most of the way. You know what? I'm just gonna do a full cup to make it extra sweet. Oh my gosh. Dude, this bread is gonna be awesome. I am so excited for it. Then we go ahead and break our Mixitron 5000. Oh. Yeah, I think this is going to take a while. But in the meantime, I'm also going to add some food coloring really quick. I'm not sure how much exactly to put in. I'm just going to put in... That's probably way too much. But, you know, I'm sure it'll turn out great. Two thousand years later. Did I mix this too much? Like, why is it not getting cloudy? Did I, like, not add enough cornstarch or something? I'm going to try adding just a little bit more cornstarch. Hopefully that'll do it. Starting to think maybe I should break out a second Mixitron. Okay, boys, let's try this again. Yes, I can feel the power. Double Mixitron. Come across the beam. What other funny jokes can I make? Eight hours later. This is taking so long. Uh... Woo! Oh no. Uh, we have a problem. Will it still work? Okay, when are these freaking peaks gonna form? I've been doing this for like 20 minutes now. I don't believe that these poor peaks will ever form. This is why I have trust issues. Why do cakes give me so many trust issues? Okay guys, so I'm gonna try a different method. I'm going to hand whisk the egg whites first. I'm gonna try this with a mixtron. Okay. Now I'm gonna add the starch and sugar. About one cup of sugar. Mix, mix. Day two. Day three. What the heck gives? You're not a cloud. You're not a cloud. Oh! I just want to know what to do. I feel like I can't go on to the next step until I make you a cloud. Do I start over or? Oh! I don't know what to do. Tomorrow. Okay, we're going to try this yet again. Oh! Now we're going to hand whisk, starch, powdered sugar. Okay, I've been mixing for about 10 minutes now. What am I doing? I'm gonna look up a real recipe for this. Okay, so I found this recipe for cloud bread online, and it turns out that I was horribly wrong on uh, how much sugar to add. I only need 2.5 tablespoons of sugar. Ah! I added a whole cup. Oh my god, this makes so much sense. Well, back to square one. Egg whites, to mix it up. Add sugar, and mix it together. Cornstarch, mix it back together. It is starting to look a little bit more consistent, so that's a good sign. It has some kind of mass. Okay, so we actually got it to make peaks. It only took us three tries, so I'm gonna go ahead and add the food dye now. Man, I was literally mixing stuff for over an hour. 12 seconds later. Okay, that looks freaking awesome. Now we're gonna go ahead and put it inside of this pan. But first, we gotta put down some parchment paper. There we go. This is not working. There we go. Yeah. 
Okay, then we're just gonna put our little cloud cake on there. Wow, form our cake. Mine's not so much of a cake as it is, a, you know, a giant blob thing. Gonna try my best to make this cake shape. Or I guess it would be bread shaped at this point. Yeah. I'm gonna throw some powdered sugar on there. Just to be fans. I don't know if that's actually gonna do anything or not. Can we go ahead and put it on our preheated oven for 20 minutes. Boop. I'm gonna take a break. Okay, guys, you ready for the big reveal? Here we go. Yeah, not too bad. It's still kind of warm. I'm gonna let it cool down a little bit, actually. Then we'll break it open. Not a bad consistency, though. It's still a little goopy. Tastes pretty good. Okay, yeah, I'm excited. Later that same evening. Okay, we went ahead and let it cool down for a little bit. Come off. Oh, whoa. I just want to start off by saying it definitely smells kind of eggy. And I think I should have probably baked it a little bit longer because it feels a little squished, too. But here we go. And... Wow, that's pretty cool. Nice. Well, let's see how it tastes. It literally tastes like eggs and sugar. <laughs> this is so weird. I definitely think I needed to bake it a little bit more because it's still kind of wet, but it's a pretty good cake. If you're gonna do this, make sure you get the right amount of ingredients before you do it because it took me three tries to get it. Wow, that's fun. Well, I guess we can say that this one works. Kind of. Oh man. So they say you can make quesadilla in a toaster? Add any kind of cheese on half a tortilla. Fold the tortilla in half and tuck in the side. Pop it in a toaster and wait a couple minutes. When it's done, there's no mess. It's cheesy and crispy. Okay guys, the first thing we need is a tortilla. Woo! Oh, too far. Woo! Then we go ahead and get our cheese. Just go ahead and sprinkle a little bit on there, you know? Uh, just, uh, all right, yeah. Fancy, how fancy am I? Get back on there. Do you guys like cheddar? What's your favorite kind of cheese? I think mine has to be pepper jack, but uh, the recipe called for mozzarella and cheddar, so that's what we're doing. I don't know if the kind of cheese really matters when you're cooking it in the toaster, but you never know. Maybe some cheeses just have a different kind of melting point or something. We go ahead and fold this bad boy in half. Turn the sides just like this, just like that. Then we have ourselves a perfectly toastable tortilla. Then we're gonna go ahead and grab our toaster. Pop this bad boy in there. This is a brand new toaster. I just bought this. And unfortunately, they didn't tell me the optimum uh, cooking setting. So I'm just gonna go ahead and guess here. Uh, hopefully, oh no, oh, oh no. Hopefully that's good enough. Any second now, I can feel it in my bones. It's about to go right. Oh my God, what? It, it, what? Whoa, oh wow. There it is guys, in all of its glory. Get out of here, toaster. Look, you're a really cute girl and I wanna give you the world. Instead, I'll just give you this quesadilla. Sound good? Sounds like plam. Now, are you guys ready for this taste test? I've been waiting my whole life for this. <laughs> this whole time and everyone makes fun of me. What's the wrong way to do it? <laughs> for all you people who make fun of me. Now I have a delicious, perfectly toasted quesadilla. You wanna try it? See if the critics are happy. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. Well guys, I guess we can say that this one works. It's pretty delicious too. Hey, Chuck, you still buying this cheese from the store? Nah, we don't need that. We make homemade cheese with only two ingredients. Take a gallon of milk, pour it into your pot, high flame, and bring it to a boil. All right, I don't know if you tell on camera, but the milk is now boiling, so I'm gonna pour in some vinegar. You can also use lemon juice and mix it right away. Look at this. In literally seconds, it turns into this cheese. Once it's drained, I put it on a plate like this, put another plate on top, and I place it in the fridge with some heavy things on top, so it presses it down and turns into a nice cheese. Okay guys, so here's our pan. This is the magic pan that's gonna make our magic cheese. Uh, let's make some magic happen. And it's alive! Let me grab our gallon of milk, pour that in there. Oh baby! So now we have to wait for this bad boy to boil. Okay guys, it looks like uh, things are starting to heat up. Pretty boiled. Now we're gonna go ahead and add our vinegar. All I have is apple cider vinegar. I asked all my roommates and none of them had regular vinegar. This was the only kind they had, so there we go. They didn't even say how much to add into this. So I'm just hoping that I put the correct amount. And then they said to mix it, and then the cheese curds should just, oh my god, whoa! It like instantly made cheese! This is so cool. And now we have to strain this bad boy. Turn that off. Oh my gosh. I gotta be really careful. I'm gonna skim it up, put it in there. Ugh, it smells like vinegar. I hate the smell of vinegar. Okay, so now that this is nice and drained, I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze out the extra moisture, actually. He said just to plop it on a plate. 
Just like that. I get a spoon to kind of help make it more cheese like. Kind of squish it all together. I really hope this doesn't turn out bad because I used apple cider vinegar instead. I'm go ahead and get another plate and just put it on top. Now I just throw this in the fridge for a little bit and we'll see how it turns out. Okay guys, so I let the cheese sit for a little bit. Let's see how it looks. Whoa! That's real, that's real mozzarella cheese. Okay, let's try this. Oh wow, this looks great. It doesn't smell too bad either. Considering I made it with apple cider vinegar. Dang, I didn't know that you could make cheese that easy. I feel like it's not gonna taste very good. Well, let's hope I don't puke. I don't know how I feel about this. You can definitely taste that it was made with apple cider vinegar. I'm not really a big fan of vinegar. But I guess it's pretty freaking close to cheese. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that this one kinda works. Woo! Okay guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. It looks like this fire right down there. If you like this video, you guys wanna watch me do even more fun TikTok life hacks. I actually have a playlist where I do that right here. If you guys are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you guys wanna see what this whole thing is about, you can click right here. Okay guys, I love you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. Okay. Bye. Bye.